Chopping this fine wintry morning to you. Chopping this fine wintry morning. It's not even winter yet. What is this? What is this? Diesel. What's going on here? Why is all the snow here? We are near Manitowage, Ontario. Those of you who are watching this video for the first time, Diesel's my dog. If you're wondering, is he talking to himself? Yes, he is. Absolutely. Technically, I'm talking to my dog, but he never answers back, so I'm always talking to myself. We're working on the language thing with him. We're putting along this road here. Uh, this is... I forget what road this is. It's the only road going to Manitouage from the 17. And uh, they got a little bit of snow last night. We're doing okay. Doing okay. My tires are definitely prepared for this. This is exactly why I bought them actually, was for exactly days like this. So we were supposed to make it home today, right? It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Seeing as I'm like putting along here, Probably not going to be able to make it all the way home in my hours today. So, we can probably expect to get home tomorrow. And then we'll be home. I'm planning to be home for, for a while. I haven't uh, discussed things with the uh, dispatch yet. So I'm not going to make any promises. But I'm hoping they're going to be cool with it if I'm like home for like four or five days. Like that would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. I got a lot of stuff I need to get done. I gotta get my moose bumper installed on Friday. That's a good boy, man. Say hi to the camera, man. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, man. Say hi. You're so annoying, man. You're so annoying. Maybe I am a little annoying. Oh well. We all are in our own way. So we just unloaded here in Manitowage. This is actually a pretty cool little town. I did not expect it to be this big. There's like close to 3,500 residents living here. Pretty big town, middle of nowhere. Well, to me, middle of nowhere. Like to me, almost everywhere is middle of nowhere when I'm up here, but <laughs> there's people here, so obviously it's not nowhere. Then again, I don't really know where nowhere is, but I'm in the middle of it a lot. Anyways, we're gonna go from here to Nipigon, Ontario. We got Uno Boxo to deliver to Nipigon. After Nipigon, we go to Dryden for like two pallets, two or three pallets. And then after that, we go home. We probably could make it home on our hours if the weather would cooperate, but I just don't see it happening today. But maybe, it's possible. We'll be very close anyways. Let's get going. Yeah, this is Manitou Watch. I know it's hard to show you everything on just one Turn drive through town. Road. But... I thought it would be just like a couple of houses, sort of like my town, you know, like just a couple of houses in the bush. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of houses out here in the bush. Tiny little road leading up to it. And they really surprise you. This would be a great place to come snowmobiling or ATVing. They got a bunch of tourist stuff going on here. They even got a roundabout right here. Look at this. Last 53 kilometers on Manadel Road. They went all European on us and put a roundabout in here. How do I use these things? Here we are, you're here. Yield, yield, nobody coming, yield, nobody coming, yield, yield, nobody coming, all right. Oh, I was not supposed to go this way, I was supposed to go that way. Well, we're going this way now. Oh, no, don't wanna go that way. All right, well, we're, uh, we're gonna go this way instead. See, those things confuse me every time. This is Manitouage. I gotta show you a little bit more of the town this way. How about that? You guys like it? I like it. It's a cute little town. It's actually a big town. I keep calling it little. I'll show you a little town. I'm gonna be there tomorrow. I call it home. They got a school here and everything. We don't got a school. Look at that big church in front of us there. Left on the Jelly Ooh. Avenue. We only got a little church. And they only got yield signs in town. Have you noticed that? That is so crazy. There's no stop signs. <laughs> I like that. What's the point of putting up a stop sign if you don't need one? Just put up a yield sign. 
Uh oh, we gotta get up this hill. Meters, then turn right on Vanadel Road. sale actually I would imagine way out here in the middle of nowhere like this another one there it would be very hard to sell a house because I mean the only people living here would be the people working here right because there's nowhere to commute to you're like hours away from any big big city bigger city you know? this is true country living here this is what I'm talking about bush living Look at that thingy, big tracks and everything. That thing's not Turn getting right stuck. On Here they put a stop sign at the top of the hill. That's great, so you can get stuck on the uphill. That's nice. I'm pretty light too, so I hope I don't get stuck right here. There's a, a van coming. We're gonna wait for the van. Oh, the van's turning down here. Nice. That's a weird looking van. Check this baby out. What are you? Where do you get them? Well, that's like custom. Come on, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Locking up the diffs. All right. Wasn't too bad of a hill. Woohoo, there it goes. <laughs> kilometers on Road. Now we're spinning. After this, we, uh, we're back on that narrow little road heading out of town. He's a weasel named Diesel. Where else to go? Oh, come on, I gotta put my toque on. One second. One second. Much better. Much better. So we are in Nipigon. Look at it. Look at look at Nipigon. Hi Nipigon. Hey Nipigon over here. Nipigon, Ontario. The snow actually all went away for a while on the way here. Just putting my shoes on. Unsuccessfully. But then I got to Nipigon and the snow came back. It always comes back. Anyways, we're gonna deliver one box here. And then we're gonna go get some lunch. And then we're gonna head to Dryden, Ontario. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. If you're watching, Stan, that's the plan. I don't know who Stan is, but I'm talking to you, Stan. So this is the mighty highway between Thunder Bay and Dryden. Still about 240 kilometers, two and three quarter hour from Dryden. That's where we're gonna sleep tonight. I called the customer, they're gonna be closed by the time I got there. So the snowstorm is delaying my homecoming, but what can you do? It's winter time. I was gonna be home tonight, but it would have been 
would kind of get kind of close anyways. So now I'm going to deliver the last couple of pallets in the morning. And I'm going to head back to the yard empty. And I'll be home probably by around noon tomorrow. Or at the yard anyways. And I'll head home from there. And then I'll be home for a few days. That'll be nice. I've been gone for a while already. I believe tomorrow it'll be 23 days that I've been gone on this trip. So our last trip was 25 days, this trip was 23 days. Very similar. It's a good length, I like it, about three weeks. It's hard to keep this window clean here. These wipers, I just bought these wipers. And they're not working so good. I like my old wipers better. It sure looks different going through here at this time of year, eh? <laughs> Remember the last time we went through here, about a few weeks ago? It was fall time then, all the bright red colors, bright green, bright yellow, all the different colors. A little bit different now. Just a bit. What a good boy you are, Diesel. Good boy. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Just don't forget to vary. I'm a very good boy, man. You are a very good boy. Look at you all sitting there like a king. Yeah, so we're at the Husky here. The Husky in Dryden. We're waiting to unload tomorrow morning and then we go home. We should be home a little afternoon. And we'll get to the house probably sometime early afternoon. Depends what we do from there, I guess. But other than that, that was the day today guys we're just gonna quickly wander into husky here i want to have a shower and i want to have something to eat i'm kind of starving i don't know how about you guys are you hungry i'm hungry <laughs> it's hard to do <laughs> look at that bearded fella in that mirror look at that beautiful beard it's getting nice and long isn't it i like it I'm at least gonna grow through the winter, I think. I'm, but I'm taking better care of it this year. Last year I just let it all go. And this year I'm kind of trying to keep it shaped. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I shaping it? I don't care what you think. I like it. I like it. <laughs> this is the shower at the Husky in Dryden, Ontario. Looks very clean, it does. It does look very clean. I am impressed. Everything you need in here. Except instead of having, uh, you know what, Flying J's, they have it all high technology with all the beep, 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 beep buttons, right? Husky. Old school. This is the end of a broom handle. I get my shower. I was just on my Facebook and I found a video someone posted and I just couldn't bring myself to repost it. It was pretty graphic. It was uh, probably about a 20 minute or 15 minute video of uh, accidents that have happened on the highways and it was pretty graphic. Like I'm talking graphic. Like it showed the bloody details of what happens when you go too fast when you lose control, when you drive unsafely. Wow, I should not have watched that before I went to bed. Tell you what, we're taking it slow tomorrow, Diesel. Wow. I didn't reshare it. Uh, I, at first I was going to, I was gonna share it and then say, you know, graphic. Be careful, look out. But you know, there's some people that don't read that. They just go click on it and they'd be just split mortified for life so just take my word for it drive safe people you can afford the extra 30 seconds you can afford an extra 15 minutes who cares as long as you get there alive anyways yeah drive safe That's the drive safe drive safe things happen so fast life is so fragile diesel everybody wants to say hi to you man Everybody wants to. Everybody say hi, Diesel. Diesel, they're saying hi. 
Don't be rude, man. Don't be rude, man. Got a wave. Hey, man. Don't. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you touching my paw, man? It was supposed to look like you were waving because you wouldn't wave yourself. Man, if I wanted to wave, I'd wave, man. Wave, Diesel. <laughs> look at his face in the background. <laughs> You're a good waver. <laughs> Stop it, man. Hey, guys, you know what to do. End of the vlog. Links down below. Past vlogs. All kinds of stuff. Go down there, check it out. You want a shirt like this? Hey, go down to the link down below, Trucker Josh and Diesel store, you can get one for yourself. Unlimited supply. Anything else you want to add, Diesel? Anything. We're going home tomorrow. You say to go home? I am. See you then.